In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up PayTabs payment method. So the first thing you do is you navigate to the store management section, select settings. In the settings page, select payments. So here we are going to choose the continent as Africa. So here you can see the pay tabs payment method. So we go ahead and install and edit it. So I click on the edit button. So in the pay tabs payment method settings page, we need to provide some information. So the first is that we need to set the endpoint to so this should be according to your PayTabs merchant account. So if you registered in any of these countries, so if you are, so if this is your country, you select it here. But if your country is not listed here, you select the global option. So I go ahead and select the global option. So the next thing we do after setting the endpoints is to set the profile id and server key so to get this information we'll need to have a merchant account so if you already have your paytabs merchant account you just log in and get it but if you don't have one you can click here to sign up so i already have a paytabs merchant account so i proceed to log in All right, so here I select the digital payments option. So here I choose global. I click on the login button. So I'll now proceed to pause the video so that I can log into my merchant account. All right, so I'm logged into my PayTabs merchant account. So for us to get the profile ID and server key, we navigate to the developers menu and select it. So in the developers page, we select key payments, key management menu. So here you can see the list of um, available integration keys so i go ahead and copy this sorry this is the profile id so i copy it here and then i paste it here then for the server key as this is a test key so i go ahead and copy it and then paste it here so you make sure that there are no spaces All right, so you can create your live key by clicking this button. So I'm currently going to use the test API key. So the next thing we do is we set the amount the checkout order total must reach before this payment method becomes active. So we set it as one. So here we set the complete status as processing leave this as failed and then we need the we leave the fraud status as denied so these are the other statuses that will be set for others made by customers using this payment method so here we can also disable this for shipping so this is a special feature that comes with the paytabs payment method so we hide it you select yes as to hide the shipping feature so for the iframe mode we select no we enable the status set the sort order number as two and then save so now that we have set the paytabs payment method we go ahead and check it in the store front end. 
All right, so we proceed to place an order. All right. Proceed to checkout. So in the payment method section, you can see a new entry called pay with pay tabs. So we select it and then proceed. So we go ahead and confirm order. All right, so here we can now see that um, pay tabs payment method is active so we can proceed now to fill in the necessary information here and then click on the pay now button to process the payment so in this video i've shown you how to set up pay tabs payment method thank you for watching